Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Guys, everybody's been emailing me saying, is there one coming out? When is it coming out? Do you know when? Well, unfortunately, they keep it under wraps really well. So um, you have to stay tuned for a couple more seconds. All right, guys, so the moment you've been waiting for, me drinking this coffee. Mm -hmm. We can do this, guys. It means get vaccinated. That's what that means, actually. Uh, you want to support my uh, coffee habit? Network is buy me a coffee, and you know who I am, Tennis Spin. Buy me a coffee backslash Tennis Spin. Link is below. Thanks in advance. Okay, what am I talking about today? This is what I'm talking about today. You guys have been asking for it, and they always keep me in the dark like everybody else until the last, last, last second. So I finally got a preview of these rackets uh, before this video, and we got to hit with it already, but you can learn about it after we get on the court. But anyways, what are what what are the characteristics of this new version here? Okay, let's quickly go over it before I show you the actual racket. Flexcon system in the throat area, right? For flex and feel. Everybody's doing a flex and feel thing now. Um, flex force for ball pocketing. The VDM in the handle, that little mesh thing that helps anti uh, vibration or anti-shock and then obviously the isometric uh, shape of the racket um, 97 head 310 weight unstrung 27 length like normal uh, the width 21 constant beam balance is 310 16 by 19 string pattern so all that doesn't change nothing has changed from the uh, the old version except for the flexcon uh, system here in the uh, throat area. Here's the racket, guys. Sorry. In the throat area. Okay, so throat area, flex con. I feel like I'm in the 80s. I feel like they used to make a racket that looked just like this. I know they did. But it was actually uh, glossy and not... Um, matte this is a matte finish as you guys can see with the green the purple a little bit of black and a little bit of kind of blue is there blue in here well, maybe it's because it's mixed in so that's the 310 the 310 version not the stand version okay so Let's see who, who's out there that I can hit with. Let me grab a pro. And then we got Stan on the placard. Thinking, thinking, right? Of how to design this racket better. All right, I'll see you on the court. All right, on the court, got my new Yonex Pro 97, 310 grams. Got my man Goo. Gonna do. See you in a second. We just finished hitting with the V-Core Pro 97. Coach Goo, thoughts? My thoughts overall, I enjoyed this Yonex uh, V-Core 97, V-Core Pro 97. Um, Love the colorway. It felt great, actually. I played with the older version, um, and 
I believe this update is a really good update. Overall, great feel. It actually goes around corners really well. Um, it does feel like the sweet spot got bigger um, compared to the old version. The old version felt like if you, you had to hit it directly at the sweet spot in order to make this record go. But overall, um, with this new update, the sweet spot got a little bit bigger and it definitely gave you that easy access to power. So, so what Coach Goo doesn't know is a couple new things, new technology in this racket. They call it Flex Fuse and Flex Force. And that's in this area that I'm feeling right now. The throat area down to the throat. So it's very, it's more flexible right here in, well, basically the bottom part of the head of the racket which is causing it to flex a little more, which gives it more feel. So Coach Goo obviously felt that. They kept that mesh uh, VDM. That's always in all the new rackets. Now. In the handle. We're a little mixed about that because we like more feel, but I understand that you're trying to take out some of the uh, vibration. So, and they're definitely doing a good job of that. But, um, Great feeling racket, guys. Great update to this racket. So if you're a fan of the old one, or if you're not a fan of the old one, and you're a fan of the one before, this is a good combination of the two. So if you've gotten away from this racket, um, it's time to re-explore it. Yeah, because this is definitely going to be a winner. Why not, too? The colorway looks nice, too. Yeah, I feel like they're bringing back some uh, 80s here. I feel like there was a Yonex that looked just like this before. Maybe. It's very, very... I don't know. I have no idea. I just yeah. remind you of the Andre Agassi eras. Coach Goo is too young. That's why. Sorry, like, guys. it's very late 80s, 90s-esque um, here. It kind of... You know what it looks like? It looks like Epcot Center. You guys... You guys uh, fans of Disney World? Like, the first Epcot stuff, like memorabilia stuff that they did, looks like this, actually. Looks very much so. If you don't know, he's too young. Buy this racket. Color's great. Feels great. great. Yep, feels great. Check it out. V Core 97 Pro. 310 square inch. All right. How do you forget about that? I know, man. I got you. You forgot about that. Oh, Anyways, V Core 97 Pro. 310, okay? 310. This is the number one selling racket in this particular line. All right, I want to thank my man, Coach Goo, for hanging out with me today on this windy day. Where can we find you, Goo? Find me at AGE.Tennis. I'll also be posting content there as well. All right, guys. So we're back from the court. Uh, I wanted to actually show you that the rackets, although seem similar, uh, a couple characteristics that uh, Coach Goo noticed and that I noticed that I thought was um, just because they changed the color of this. Because you know that when you make something lighter, uh, it looks bigger, right? So if something is white, it looks bigger than when it does when it's black. So this is definitely a darker and this is lighter. When you hold these two together, I mean, I guess you can tell now that the beam is a little different. So, um, upon a little bit more research, it is now a 21 millimeter beam. So it's one millimeter thicker, as you can see. One millimeter thicker, constant one millimeter. So all the way through the racket. Now the other thing that changed um, is check this out. So I'm going to show you on the side so you can see a little bit better. This shaft part, this throat area is also longer. So as you can see, it starts lower by, what is that? Maybe quarter, half inch, half inch. So this shaft is longer here. Sorry, my finger right here on that racket. So by doing that, they actually cause this racket to flex a little bit more. To compensate for the flex, 
they thicken this up so to give you a little more power. So, so that's the main, main difference aside from the, the handsome looks in the retro look of the racket. All right. Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.